The PlayStation 5 is receiving games at a breakneck pace, and it can be difficult to keep up with everything that you should be playing. With so many high-profile games coming to the console, some games can slip through the cracks, and you can miss out on a truly great experience. Hey everyone, welcome to Play, Rank, Share, the show where I play the marquee PlayStation 5 titles, keep a ranking of the best PlayStation 5 games, and share my opinions with you. My name is Tyrus, and in this video I'm going to highlight 10 hidden gems on the PlayStation 5. These are games that I don't think have gotten the love they deserve, and it's time they earn some respect. What's your hidden gem PS5 game? Make sure to leave a comment below, I would love to hear your thoughts, and with that out of the way, let's jump in. Chicory A Colorful Tale is easily the most charming game available on the PS5, and I didn't even hear about this game until several months after it came out. Chicory is brimming with hope and positivity as you use a paintbrush mechanic to bring color back to your world after it is all lost. Chicory is an adventure game at its core, crafting up various different puzzles that revolve around the capabilities of your paintbrush. Chicory also has a surprisingly deep narrative that explores introspective topics such as self-doubt and accepting criticism. The writing in this game is top-notch and had me rooting for the central characters, and I really think PS5 gamers would be remiss to let this game dwell on their backlog. Forged in Shadow Torch, better known as Fist, is a wonderfully crafted Metroidvania-style game, a genre that is sorely lacking on the PS5, and Fist is the best one to come out so far. In this game, you play as Raymond, a technically modified anthropomorphic rabbit who is attempting to save his world. A robotic legion is threatening the existence of his people, and the war veteran gears up with his signature giant fist to fight this movement. It feels so satisfying to travel around the map of Torch City as you slowly gain new abilities to make this beautiful 2.5D world open up to you, making levels play substantially different with new abilities. Fist does have a brutal difficulty spike towards the end of the game, but I found it very satisfying to overcome the bosses that were initially giving me major headaches. While garnering some Game of the Year awards when originally released on PC in 2021, Inscription quietly came to the PS5 at the end of this summer. Inscription is best described as a roguelike card game as you try to escape the dangerous cabin that you are placed in. The game takes a myriad of twists and turns that left me a little disturbed throughout the 15 hour campaign. However, the card based mechanics and the unique ways you can build your deck through subsequent runs kept me enthralled throughout my entire time playing the game. I highly recommend Inscription to anyone who is a fan of deck building games. The roguelike nature of the deck builder makes it so you can't get attached to any one strategy. The real shining force though is the truly unique narrative behind the game. I was hooked through my entire time with Inscription, waiting to see where the story would take me next. While the narrative this spring was dominated by the lights of Elden Rain and Horizon Forbidden West, indie gem Nobody Saves the World initially launched on Xbox consoles and came to PlayStation this most recent summer. This arcade-style action game places you as a nobody, who has the ability to morph into other fighters, from the traditional archer to more extreme examples like a rat or a monk. Each character has unique abilities that can eventually be swapped around to help you tackle a variety of different dungeons. Customization will really open up as you progress through the game and level up your different fighters, letting you completely change the abilities to any of the other abilities you might have, helping you create a perfect build for the challenges you face. Nobody is also fully playable in co-op and is one of my favorite games so far to play with other people on the PS5. For fans of games like Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Rollerdrome brings the trick comboing format to roller skating, but introduces gunplay and various combat related challenges to test your skills. This game does a great job of slowly introducing more complex mechanics as you continue to ensure that the player won't be overwhelmed at the start. Aside from briefly being featured on a state of play earlier this year, which is where Rollerdrome caught my eye, I think it fell through the cracks a bit and could easily have been overlooked unless you were closely paying attention when it came out in August. Fans of high score chasing games will feel right at home with Rollerdrome, even as it gets tricky towards the end. Other PlayStation Studio games such as Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Demon's Souls stole the spotlight from Sumo Digital developed Sackboy A Big Adventure, a 3D platformer collectathon game that is perfect for all ages. 
fully playable and couch co-op, this game returns to the Little Big Planet franchise with a new format. Structured platforming levels that bring the charm and creativity that LBP fans love. Sackboy is also a super digestible game. It can be beaten in around 10 hours, but also has plenty of hidden secrets and challenges to elongate the playtime for people who love the game. Out of all the launch games on the PlayStation 5, I found Sackboy to be the most endearing, and I hope that PlayStation will revisit this franchise and format in the future. Solar Ash is a game that nails its locomotion. It's immensely fun to sprint around its hyper-stylized world. While there are some light combat elements to the game, the core of Solar Ash is its traversal system, and many puzzles are provided that utilize your abilities. Even as you encounter bosses that are of epic scale compared to your protagonist, you use your movement mechanics to overcome them. While I get that a game based around movement can sound a little boring, Solar Ash doesn't overstay its welcome. I beat the campaign in 6 hours. This short runtime prevents any part of the game from feeling stale, and I recommend this to players looking for something that presents an out of the box game design experience. Originally created as a Skyrim mod, The Forgotten City got a fully fledged release last year. In this game, you are transported back in time to the Roman era, in a city where everyone turns to gold if any one person sins. You are tasked with deducting who is going to sin and stop them before they do it, to save everyone in the city in addition to yourself. While this game is a little rough around the edges in terms of production quality, I was captivated by the story throughout my journey. With multiple possible endings, there is pressure on the player to ensure that you are uncovering every secret in the city, learning about the motivations of each occupant, and making sure you can get back to your own timeline safely. When it initially launched with the PlayStation 5, I was pretty surprised that the Pathless didn't take off with the launch of the console. Developed by Giant Squid and published by Annapurna Interactive, the Pathless is a very kinetic action puzzle game that oozes in style. This game does not provide the player with any map or fast travel system. Normally, I would find this irritating in a quasi open world game, but zipping around the world of the Pathless is fun, and I enjoy trying to travel as efficiently as possible getting to the various checkpoints. You can often now find the Pathless on a discount, and it's well worth the price to experience this art house style adventure game, especially if you are a fan of famed PlayStation games like Shadow the Colossus or Journey. Ironically, this game is very similar in style and substance to Solar Ash, and I wish these types of games got more love in the industry. If it wasn't for a stray tweet popping up on my timeline recently, I think I would have let Tinykin totally blow past my radar. Released in August, this game harkens back to the PS2 collectathon era, where every nook and cranny of the sits levels in this game has you making progress towards 100% completion and the Platinum Trophy. In Tinykin, you play as Milo, who has rediscovered Earth, but crash lands and finds himself the size of an ant trapped inside a house. Inside this house, you encounter a bug society that has lived on after humans have left, and you use mysterious creatures called, well, Tinykin, to solve the various puzzle and platforming challenges. These Tinykins each have their own unique abilities and are slowly introduced throughout the game to give you fresh puzzles in every level. I was obsessed with my time playing Tinykin, loving the challenge of finding every collectible hidden throughout the game. No challenge feels too onerous to overcome, and I found myself getting lost from the main story path trying to complete all the side objectives. People who grew up in the PS2 era loving these styles of platformers will feel right at home playing Tinykin. Well, that's it. 10 hidden gems on the PlayStation 5, and thank you for watching this episode of Play, Rank, Share. Make sure to ring the bell to be notified when future episodes are released. Future episodes of PRS include my rankings of the top 25 PlayStation 5 games, and you know it's getting late in the year, Game of the Year videos are right around the corner. Make sure to leave a comment below telling me what your hidden gem of a PS5 game is, and until next time, don't stop sharing.